hello crocheters thank you for following my channel today I'm going to show you the basics in crocheting to begin we're going to start with a slip knot so you want to place the tail over your index finger like so and you want to wrap it around your finger twice take this back one pull it over the first one grab that one and pull it down your finger. Insert your hook and tighten it. You don't want it too tight, you want it to easily be able to move up and down your hook. Now the next thing we're going to do is a chain stitch. So you wrap it around your hook and you pull through. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, and continue doing that as many times as you'd like. Next, we're going to learn a single crochet. To do a single crochet, you're going to want to skip this first chain next to the hook. So not the one on your hook, but the one right next to it. Go into the second chain from the hook. Wrap your yarn around and pull through. Now you should have two loops on your hook. going to wrap around and pull through both loops. Insert it into the next one. Wrap your yarn around. Pull through. You got two loops. Wrap around. Pull through two. And you want to do this for the rest of the chain. Insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. Once you've finished your single crochet row it should look like this the end may curl up a little bit don't worry about that we'll fix that as we go on the next round we are going to do is going to be a half double crochet so you want to chain two one two turn your work wrap your yarn around your hook that chain two is going to count as your first half double crochet. So you want to go into the next stitch, which is right here. Wrap around, pull through. You're going to have three loops on your hook. You want to wrap around and pull through all three. So wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through all three. Wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through all three. wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through all three, and continue doing that for the rest of this row. Once you finish that row, it shouldn't be curling up at the end anymore. So for the next row, we're going to do a double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and just like the last row, you're going to turn your work, and that chain three is going to count as your first double crochet. So you're going to wrap around, insert into the next chain space, or stitch space, wrap around, pull through. 
you have three loops on your hook. I'm going to wrap around, pull through two, and now you have two. So wrap around and pull through those last two. And that is your second double crochet. So wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. Wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. Wrap around, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And continue doing that for the rest of this row. All right, as you get to the end of the row, you're going to notice that you have this last stitch. So you're going to go into the first chain which is right there. So you're going to wrap around, insert into that chain, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And then, as you can see, there's that loop there. There is a chain two space. You want to go into the top of that chain two from the last round. And it should be somewhat straight on the edges. All right, next we're going to learn a treble crochet. So you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. You're gonna turn your work wrap around your hook twice, insert into that next stitch, wrap around, pull through, and you're going to have four loops on your hook. So you want to wrap around, pull through two, now you'll have three, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. Wrap twice, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, and oh, sorry, twice, insert. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. One more time, wrap around your hook twice, insert, wrap around your hook, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. Do you want to continue that for the rest of this row? We're at that last one again, the chain three from the last one. So you're going to wrap around your hook, insert into the third chain, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And the edge should still be pretty straight. Those are the basics of crocheting. Very rarely will you find a pattern that uses a treble crochet, but it's still nice to know how to do one. So you can continue practicing this and watch the video as many times as you need to, but these are the most basic stitches you will need to know. You obviously need to know how to chain. 
there's a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, and then the treble crochet. Next, I will be showing you how to tie off. So you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll want to chain one, leave a decent sized tail, cut the yarn, and just pull that yarn through and tighten it. This is going to prevent your work from coming undone. Next I'm going to show you another way to begin a project. It's called the magic circle. So you're going to place your tail over two fingers. You're going to wrap it around bring it up and then on top you're going to cross over. Hold that strand with your pinky to keep it in place. Let me show you that again. Over two fingers. And you want to keep your fingers a little spaced that way it's not too tight of a circle. You want to wrap it around. Cross it up front, hold it with your pinky. Take your hook, go underneath this first one, grab the second one, and pull through and up. Remove your fingers. Do a double crochet. Well, a chain, that way it stays in place. Now you're going to chain three, then we're going to double crochet 12 into the magic circle. So wrap around, go into this big circle, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. Now that chain three counts as your first double crochet. So we have two, we need 10 more. Okay, after you get 12 double crochets into that ring, double count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Remember that chain 3 is considered a, a stitch. <clears throat> so you're going to grab your tail, and you're going to cinch the circle shut. You're going to slip stitch, and this is a new stitch, into the third chain of that chain three. So one, two, three. You're going to insert, wrap around your yarn, pull through both. 
let me show you that again. Gonna insert into that third chain, wrap around, pull through, pull through. There's your magic circle. Thank you for watching. Join me in the next video to learn beginner projects.